Hi folks, welcome to episode number 605 of the Handgun World Podcast. A practical show done by a practical guy, and that is me. Today's September 18th, 2022. This show is brought to you by Keepers Concealment, makers of the best appendix carry holsters that you can get. Here's an example of one. And that is the Errand. My Glock 43X is in the appendix carry called the Errand by Keeper's Concealment. The first 15 minutes of this show is on YouTube. And so I'm going to be showing some of what I'm going to be talking about in this episode. After 15 minutes, please feel free to switch over to my audio podcast link. And down below this video in the notes will be a direct link to my audio podcast. So, I have been doing a series called What Do You Carry and Why? And I had a couple of interviews the last few weeks. I'm going to expand a little bit more on my carry guns and what do I carry and why. Most of you know I'm a pretty big believer in sticking with the same type of gun for concealed carry. When I say the same type, I don't necessarily mean the same brand of gun, but what I am talking about is the same type. In other words, if it's a striker fired 9mm, if it's a hammer fired 9mm, if it's a 1911-45, maybe it's a double action, single action gun like a SIG or a Beretta. Stay with those types of guns because once you learn and train on those types of guns, that is where you are more effective in case you have to use the gun in self-defense. It's my belief that we need to prepare as if we're going to use our guns in self-defense. Would you agree with me on that? That's what we are supposed to be doing. It's great to be a competitive shooter. I shot IDPA yesterday. I shot one, one of my guns, my Glock 19 in IDPA yesterday. I like playing the gun games. I also shoot and train for self-defense. I've taught other people how to use their guns in self-defense of yourself, your loved ones, and also to preserve freedom. If you are being attacked by a tyrannical government, and you know what? The It seems like more and more these days we are getting closer and closer to that point. I hope it never comes. I I hope we don't have to be fighting physically and violently against tyranny. It just is amazing out there what is going on in the United States of America. All the stuff that we fought a revolution to get away from. We fought a bloody revolutionary war to get away from this type of tyranny. Now it seems like it's slowly creeping back. I hope we don't have to use our firearms, but that is the purpose of the Second Amendment. Let's not forget that. Getting back to why I carry what I do. What do I carry and why? The gun that I have been carrying the most lately. Now I have, I'm looking at three guns that get the most time on my belt and in my holster. All right, so let's talk about it. And again, check out Keeper's Concealment if you want to get a good appendix carry holster. Handgun World is your coupon code. One word, Handgun World, you'll get 10% off at Keeper's Concealment. What has been getting the most carry? My SIG P365. That has been getting the most carry on my belt in my holster. Now, I have another sponsor called Concealment Solutions. They make fantastic outside the waistband and inside the waistband hybrid holsters and all Kydex holsters. This is, if you're watching the video right now, you can see it. This is the Cobra outside the waistband by Concealment Solutions. Uh, This is a fantastic holster. I have four of these, I believe. And my SIG P365 fits in there just nicely. The other thing that I like about this Cobra 
outside the waistband. This version also fits my P365XL. So I use the same holster for a P365 as I do the P365XL. Some people say, Bob Main, you're a Glock fanboy. Really? Well, uh, let me talk to all of you right now that think I'm a Glock fanboy. A SIG is what's getting carried in my holster and on my belt most of the time. And if there was ever a gun that could rival my Glock 19, it would be this SIG P365 XL. I can get a 15 round magazine if I want. This comes with a 12 round magazine and I got a 13 round gun. The sight radius is nice on this. I still shoot it with iron sights. It does have a nice optics cut to put a, uh, an optic on there. I think you can see it just like that now. You can see it. So it's an optics ready gun. It's got great iron sights. My P365 is not optics ready, but let me tell you what, I can shoot this thing very well. And the other gun that could rival my P36 or my Glock 19 is this Glock 43X. Okay? This Glock 43X. And um, the gun is not loaded, but I do have some ammo in this magazine. And this is the 15 round sh uh, shield S15 magazines. Very, very reliable. And so when I use it in my Glock 43X, let me tell you what, it's a, it's a fantastic carry piece. And I really, really very much enjoy carrying it in this errand holster. Errand holster by Keeper's Concealment. So either one of these holster makers that sponsor me, you can get a 10% discount by using the coupon code HANDGUNWORLD. Back to the P365. I did a show probably uh, four months or five months ago called the Dynamic Duo of Pistols. The Dynamic Duo of Pistols. And that Dynamic Duo would be my P365 and my P365 XL. These are just great carry guns. And I can't say enough about how these things are designed and they're perfectly reliable. This P365 is just designed as if it was made for Bob Main's hand. I'm carrying it as you can see with the 12 round magazine and the 12 round magazine gives enough of an extension to where I can get my entire hand on the gun no problem. And if I want to carry a little bit more gun then I jump up to the P365XL. I'll tell you something that I'm thinking about doing for both of these guns. Wilson Combat is making some excellent grip modules. There's nothing wrong with the SIG grip module. I think SIG did a really good job but I think that Wilson Combat probably does it better. And I've seen some people that have these guns with the Wilson Combat grip module. I think I'm going to swip, switch over to those. I really do. And I need to start putting some optics on my guns. I have a lot of optics ready guns. This is my Shadow Systems DR920. It's a Glock 17 size handgun, but it's much lighter and much more well designed than a Glock 17. But look at it. It looks like a Glock. Okay, Shadow Systems makes fantastic guns. In fact, in fact, maybe the only gun that could get more carry time than my P365 would be the Shadow Systems CR920. I'm seriously considering that gun, the Shadow Systems CR920, which is the real small version of this DR920, and I have the MR920, and all of mine are the elite versions. Uh, if you're going to spend this much money on a striker-fired gun, Glock-like style handgun, get the elite versions. They've got a few more really good features. One thing I like is the real nice slide serrations on top of the slide, and also um, the... Uh, the whole grip and everything, I just I just like it. Uh, and I think the Elite has uh, a little bit better barrel. Uh, I'm not a good enough shooter 
to benefit from a um, match grade barrel I guess as it's called out there but if you are if you're a good enough shooter to benefit from that well then you know more power to you I wouldn't worry so much about that as a feature though whether it has a match grade barrel I think most good guns made today and I got four real good guns out here they all are very very accurate matter of fact I was very surprised with my P365 XL very surprised how accurate I can be with this gun uh, I can be as accurate with this gun as I can with my Glock 19 and I've shot them both extensively so you know uh, it's just it's just a fantastic feeling gun but the P365 because of its size and I'm gonna say because of its size to capacity ratio I like this with the 12 round magazine it's a perfect size for my hand but it conceals extremely well it's got good contouring good lines and everything it conceals very well that's something I've noticed about the CR 920 by Shadow Systems I don't own one but I've had a chance to uh, at the store examine one and see how it feels it's also a very very good feeling gun one of the biggest problems with Glocks is their ergonomics now I have a Glock 19 that I've actually changed the ergonomics I'll do another show about that coming up by by making some modifications to the grip I've changed the ergonomics of it you don't have to worry about that with something like shadow systems the um, the line of sight or excuse me the uh, the point of aim is perfect on these guns they're just very well designed they hit they sit in the hand perfectly same with the with the sig p365 series these things just feel right they just feel right so that's why right now i'm giving them a little bit edge a little bit of an edge over my glocks however the best feeling glock that i own is this one here the glock 43x the, again this feels like it was made for bob main's hand and I don't know what it is. And even the grip, the grip angle doesn't seem to be. Grip angle, I think, is a terrible argument. Would you agree? Uh, a lot of people can shoot Glocks very, very well. Even with the regular, you know, Glock grip angle that everybody says is so bad. Grip angle, you know what? If your sights are lined up and you have a good trigger press, it doesn't matter what the grip angle of the gun is. It doesn't matter if your sights are on target or if your red dot is where it's supposed to be or your green dot and you smoothly gently press the trigger so that you get a good trigger press and you're saying you don't let the gun move it does not matter what the grip angle is but I will say this just feels really good this Glock 43 X feels real good a young guy was competing in IDPA with me yesterday and he had a Glock 43s with an MOS version and I think he had a small Holison red dot on it and um, I'm telling you it almost made me want to go trade this in and get the MOS version or at least buy a slide with that's cut or I maybe I what I just need to do is send this away and get it cut for a real good optic and that's probably what I'm gonna do I do kind of like the looks of this two-tone Glock 43 X all right that's gonna conclude the video portion of this and uh, for those of you watching me on on YouTube please like this video subscribe to my channel put some comments in here Look at all the links that I'm going to post below this video. It's going to have a link to my sponsors. It's going to have a link to this episode, number 605, of my audio podcast. So thanks again for watching if you're tuning in and you're watching me right now on YouTube.